Yes, we're here, and yes, we're back. It's Bob, and it's Ian Joy, and we're coming at you. Hot rocking, flame throwing, both coasts. How you doing out there, buddy? Hey, buddy, I'm doing pretty good out here on the West Coast. There's a little rain recently, so it's uh, dampening my spirit somewhat from uh, sunbathing in the backyard. However, I'm good, and I'm feeling even better to be talking I've, to you. I've seen you doing that. I have a drone that flies over your backyard. Anyway, I want you to know we're all doing the, the right thing, self-quarantining. I washed my hands right before I talked to you, so you're safe 2,400 miles away. Yep, it's all good. Smell hey, in the, in the effort, of, we talked about this last week, positivity and doing the right things and self-quarantining. You brought up a band, Friends Years, Churches. Yeah. They just released on YouTube kind of a remake, a self-quarantining remake of Forever, one of their songs. So tell us about that. Well, I hope you liked the song. Did you like it? I loved it. It was great. Yeah. yeah it was pretty cool. I think it was really that, cool the way they shot it too, by the way. It's amazing. That's exactly what I was going to rely on there is that your confidence in saying that the content from everybody out there has been quite incredible. And, and I couldn't agree more. I think that people are getting so creative. And, you know, my friend Martin, he is uh, the creator of the band Churches and, and also in the band Churches. And they came up with this idea where they're all in different parts of the country. Um, and of course, they're all based in the U.S. now. There's a Scottish band, but based in the U.S. now and different parts of the country. And they shot video and audio of them all playing their instruments or singing and put the song together. And the video itself is pretty awesome. I think we'll try to maybe put a link next to our video as well if you're okay. watching on YouTube. It was awesome. I just love how creative people are getting involved. It's yeah. so awesome to see. Yeah, it, I guess the question is, how do you decide to spend your time? And in fact, you just got off the phone with NYCFC's head coach. He's taken a positive, different approach too, right? Yeah, Ronnie Dyla, the New York City Football Club coach, is uh, really using this time and making sure that he, uh, actually his words to me were self-reflecting, which I thought was quite incredible. And a lot of yeah. people should take that advice. Take this moment to slow down, to think about things, to reflect and try to improve. That's what he said to me. I want to try and get better at something in my life. As a human being, if it's a specific talent or a hobby that I've picked up there, I want to try and improve on something. And I thought that was pretty awesome, Bob. Being able to take this opportunity to slow down, think about things, and improve in some area of your life is so important when you're going through a challenging time like this. So I'm trying to do that myself. I think I'm going to restart the Italian lessons I started about 10 years ago. Yeah. I bought Rosetta Stone and did it for like two weeks. Now would be a good time, right? Now would be a perfect time to do it. I've actually learned another language as well. I mean, I was living in Germany, so I had an opportunity right. to learn another language. French is the next one for me. Oh, I'm good. I'm going to try and learn French. I'm, my next one is I'm going to learn Scottish. You'll know how much chance to learn some Scottish. <laughs> You'll know how much chance we learn it. I can never get it that perfect. Anyway, I do want to move on by talking about something. In these times of self-quarantine, you find different ways to keep busy. You mentioned that. You've done it by last week issuing me a golf skills challenge. Yeah. So what? I mean, obviously, your competitive fire for, as a former player still burns. Is that kind of something you get into, like challenging people to do stuff like that? Yes, I do. I'm, I'm charging, challenging my kids every single day to, to a fight or uh, maybe some soccer in the house or throwing a football or a baseball. My son's really into the baseball right now, so he's hitting the ball. I mean, we're challenging each other. We're playing cards. I never thought I would be as good at playing the match the picture card game. Have you seen that one? We've no. been playing farm animals. So match the farm animals. So if you get a cow over here, you've got to try and find the other cow. When you get a match, you get a point. So yeah, so when the kids went to bed, me and my wife played it for like an hour. All right, so a week ago, we showed you in this golf challenge, and I still can't believe this, but I know you're telling the truth. Two chips, one, first one, you yank to the left, you're chipping ping pong balls inside. Second one, you nail it into the cup from about 15 feet away, right? That's absolutely incredible. Yeah, well... Listen, when I like to challenge people, Bob, I always try to go that extra mile. I was prepared to go for an hour long at this game to try and get it <laughs> in this cup, this glass. So that's why I put the challenge to you, because I wanted to know mm -hmm. how you would do on the challenge. So you say you did it. Have you done the I challenge? did do it. We're going to edit the video in. You've seen three pieces of video. So I didn't nail it on the second try. I took about 20 swings prior. Why waste the film if you will on the camera the storage space <laughs> i did not have success at first 
Yeah. You can clearly see that Ian Joy's chipping game is far ahead of Bob Lorenz's. So I got the video. Eventually, I did hit it, and we're going to be seeing that. But there is a payoff at the end, a big reveal. You have not seen it yet. Right. Please take a look at that video and tell me what you think. All right. I got the video. Yeah. Um, uh, before I start the video, I push play. There's a picture of you with a large green cocktail glass and a dog with his chin on yeah, <laughs> That's Hawthorne. That's right. All right. Hold up. <laughs> I had a little assist from my caddy. <laughs> so I guess it was a false illusion then. Is that what you're telling me? Yeah. Well, you know what? When you first saw it, I was like, he's going to notice that I hit that ball a little to the left. And all of a sudden, it drops in the cup. Whoa. I just, I sold it. I but sold it. You are a master, okay? You're a master. <laughs> but masters can also be fooled, okay? Meredith Marokovic, she called me out last week when we were talking with one another. She said to me, Ian, please tell me the truth, all right? You did not get that on the second attempt, did you? And I said, Meredith, tune into Bob and Ian next week to find out the answer to that question. Okay, so here's the real truth about it, Bob. Yeah. Because I did fool you. I didn't get it into my second attempt. It took me 28 times to get it into the glass. 28 times. That wasn't that long. That was actually pretty good because the glass was on the other side of the room. But here's another illusion that I fooled you into, Bob, because I brought the glass with me, okay? Okay. You know that little small beer glass? It's actually a pretty big <laughs> glass. Oh, <God. laughs> that thing is ginormous. Look at the size of that. There's a ping pong ball in there. I've actually put five of the balls in there so you can see it. You got five balls in. This thing's huge. It's like one of those celebrations you see, you know, when you win a championship. Right, right. You're pouring it over the head of the other the players. Like That's one of those glasses. So I knew if I could set it up perfectly, I could fool everybody into believing that it was a regular sized glass, which I obviously fooled you yeah. into. And then I wanted to see if somebody would send me a video of them doing it because I would be like, if they got this in, it's, I mean, it's a miracle, right? Yeah. As you, as you tried and learned and failed. <laughs> it's like half succeeded. It is tough though, especially when you're, it's a ping pong ball too. Yeah. Those things fly everywhere. Yeah, I mean, listen, just because this glass is a little larger than normal, I was still very impressed with myself that I got it into the glass. But it was, uh, I like to challenge people. And, that, and that's where my spirit's coming from. I like to challenge you. I like to challenge all my people who are following on social media, at Joy Pauline, Twitter, Instagram, wherever it is. I like to challenge to just give them an opportunity to take yeah. their mind away from what's going on right now. So um, I'm glad I fooled you into it. And I'm glad yeah. I, I managed to make you get creative as well. You, you sold it very well. I love it. Thanks for showing us the size of that glass. Surprised you didn't break your arm trying to lift that thing. My goodness. <laughs> hey, All so right. I wanted to ask you, because your challenges don't stop, Yeah. you have another challenge. I got a new challenge for you, Bob. And this All one right. I got a little creative with. Okay, so I was on social media, and as you mentioned before, people are getting really creative. This one is a bit more of an in-house challenge, okay? Let me ask you this. Who is the most famous baseball player or coach that you have in your cell phone number that you could text anyone it could be anyone the most famous baseball player take your time think about it i mean i could have at the time i had yogi Berra. the guys i work with probably well think about Paul it you work with some pretty David famous Justice. guys what David about like Justice. a rod do you have a rod in your not in your I do phone not, no okay well, let's, let's think of someone that you have in your phone book, right? So I've got one in my phone book, famous soccer player, probably would be a guy called Christian Vieri, Italian player, flamboyant. He's got like 3 million followers on, on Instagram. Like just this guy who's out there. My challenge to you would be to come up with a name, the most famous person that is in your phone from your sport. You have to text him and say, hey, it's Bob. Just want to check in and see how you're doing. <laughs> and, and then you ask me back. The challenge is to see if they text you back, and if they both text back, who gets a text back first, me or you? Oh, okay. So we're going to have to pick the time and the date, the showdown time. Yeah. Say, you know, a Tuesday at noon, here we go, boom, send it out and see who gets back faster. Well, Little Birdie told me that we're going to do another show soon. So live on that show, we okay. will post a text. You've well, got to it. think about this famous person. You've got to yeah. post this text live on that show, and then we'll see who gets the response first.
I love it. Keep the challenges coming. And everybody out there with whatever you're doing, you're spending your time. We love these challenges. I've gotten a few from uh, Twitter, favorite female artists, uh, four most influential baseball players, and maybe when I was growing up over the course of time, that sort of thing. It's a lot of fun stuff out there. I think those kind of short lists where you don't have to invest a ton of time, like, okay, who, who would that be? It's just – you, you can pop it out there and it's good stuff. And it really keeps the conversation between people going. I think it'd be pretty cool maybe over the next couple of weeks that we could pick out two or three of our, our people who are following on social media who send us these challenges and then me and you could get to the task. Oh, that's a good idea. I'm going to put this out there. My favorite, favorite Scottish football player is Ian Paul Joy. <laughs> Hands down. That's it. You know I was born in San Diego, right? Don't be fooled by the accent. <laughs> I knew it was fake. You sold it again. <laughs> you can tell by the tan. This is a California right. tan. You don't get this on the Scottish island. You know that. No, no that, is, that is perfect. A perfect you. All right. Good to see you again, brother. We'll talk soon. Looking forward to it, buddy.